Hello and welcome to this video. Regular viewers to my YouTube channel will recall that at the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 I made a couple of videos looking at the old Foot Guards Regiment's burial sites in Catrum in Surrey in South East England. Today I've come to the place where it all began. This is the site of the old Catrum Barracks and as you can probably see there, many of the old buildings have been preserved and so too was much of the history of this site. So let's take a look around now and see what we can find. The barracks operated from 1877 to 1995 and this is what the main gate used to look like. It stood right next to this chapel building, there was a guard post and note also this wall. Today, the main entrance to the site has been moved by a few yards, creating a dog leg before it rejoins its original alignment. That's allowed for the opening up of a pedestrian space and the construction of this memorial, which we'll look at more closely in a moment. The chapel building remains, and so too does the wall that we looked at a few moments ago. This is the Foot Guards Memorial that we saw in the previous photograph. Sculpted by Paula Howney, it has stood on this spot since 2001. It stands three and a half metres high and is made from granite and Portland limestone. It's in a very fitting location, right next to the Guards Chapel. The Guards Chapel, dedicated to St Michael the Archangel, was designed by William Butterfield and its construction was completed in 1886. The building itself is protected, so externally it remains unaltered. But it was deconsecrated when the barracks were closed, and today, inside, it's actually a skate park. In this photograph, you can see that dog leg in the road that I mentioned earlier. There's the memorial on the right-hand side, and the chapel building behind it, and this building on the left is the old officer's mess. One of the site's original buildings, the officer's mess was twice extended, once in 1896 and again in 1928. When the barracks were closed, this building kept its original name and was converted into offices. Throughout its history, the primary role of Catron Barracks was the training of the Foot Guards regiments. As such, it played a crucial role in both world wars. Almost miraculously, the barracks narrowly avoided being bombed in World War I. A German airship, similar to this one, flew directly overhead, but the crew had become lost looking for targets in London and didn't realise that they were flying over what could easily have been considered a legitimate military target. Sadly, in World War II, the barracks site was bombed although the intended target was almost certainly the nearby Kenley Aerodrome. Seven new recruits lost their lives. If you look in the very far distance, you may just about be able to see a red Tesco sign. That part of the site was turned into a supermarket. The building in the centre of the frame now is the old officer's mess building, and you can just see the steeple of the chapel building behind. So these buildings, houses and flats, were all built in the very late 90s or early 2000s. And as you can probably see from the style of the architecture, they were designed to blend in largely with what was already here. Where I'm standing now, this open field, is a community play area that was originally the main parade ground for the barracks. The red and white building there is a residential home for elderly people. And then coming around here we have some original buildings again, and most notably the original barrack blocks, which were converted into flats. Often on this green space cricket is played, so as you can see there a cricket pavilion. And then some office buildings, again designed to blend in with the existing architecture. 
and a pub just here as we complete the circle and with reference to this often being used for cricket the pub is called the boundary on the green. The modern road and place names on the site brilliantly reflect its history. These signs even include a brief description. Here, on the edge of what is now Grenadier Place, used to stand the Commandant's House. That's one of the plots that was redeveloped and is now a residential care home. From here we can see a good mix of old and new. In the far distance is the old entrance gate to the barracks site. So this building here is modern. And this building is original and was converted into an animal hospital. And then we're back to the barracks again. And you can begin to see here how the blocks were laid out. These three-storey barrack blocks were very much the latest design when they were first built, giving the soldiers much more sanitary conditions than they'd previously experienced. They still retain very much their imposing Victorian design, but they converted readily to flats, as you can imagine. Here, in the middle of Brigade Place, we're right in the centre of the old barrack blocks. The building in the distance there is called the Ark, which was a converted building, and that became essentially a community centre and theatre. I think perhaps here, more than anywhere else on the site, you really feel that you're in the middle of an old military complex. Whilst in Brigade Place, I was also able to roughly reconstruct this old photograph, which dates from around the latter part of the 19th century. As you can see, although the building in the centre of the picture is gone, the barrack blocks themselves, now flats, are largely unchanged. There's one other important event that's linked to Catron Barracks, and to tell that story I've come a couple of hundred yards up the road to the Catron Arms pub. During the period known as the Northern Ireland Troubles, the IRA carried out many attacks, both there and on the UK mainland. On the 27th of August 1975, they planted a time bomb inside the Catrum Arms pub, knowing that it was frequented by many soldiers from the Catrum barracks. The damage was enormous, as these photographs show. Incredibly, no one was killed, although 33 people were injured, many of them seriously, including three off-duty soldiers who lost limbs. Ultimately, the Catrum Arms pub was repaired, and it remains a popular venue to this day. So, as we head back to what used to be the parade ground, that concludes this tour of the old Catrum Barracks site. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave me a comment. And please also remember to like, subscribe and press the notification bell as well. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today and I'll see you again very soon.